Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about SR latch, which is made up of CMOS transistors. So, CMOS, we can better call it as CMOS SR latch. So, SR, SR stands for set and reset. So, we know very well from the switching theory and logic design or digital electronic circuit, you might have studied about this flip-flop concept and latches concept. So latch is having an enable pin. It does not have any clock signal and flip-flop is nothing but a controlled latch which is having an, an, uh, a clock signal continuous changing with respect to time. Okay. So there are four different types of latches or you can say better four different types of flip-flops. SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, D flip-flop and T flip-flop. So the basic element for all the flip-flops is a latch because latch is the memory storage element and if you are having, if you are adding two more gates with a control input then you can call it as a, you can call it as a flip-flop. Okay. So SR latch, set and reset latch, set and reset latch. Here latch can be made up of two types of gates. One it may be created using NAND gates or it may be created using NOR gates. So we can design SR latch using NAND and SR latch using NOR. Okay. So you can create SR latch using NAND gates and you can create SR gate using NOR gates. So first what we, what we will do is in the CMOS design of the SR latch First, we are going to take the basic gate, gating circuit for this SR latch using NOR gates and NAND gates. Later, we will replace those gates with the schematic transistors. Those gates with the transistor model and we will see what are the on and off conditions of the transistor. Okay. So, let us first see a NOR based SR latch. NOR based SR latch NOR based SR latch so NOR gate based SR latch the inputs for any flip flop or latch must be of two inputs set and reset here Q Q bar Q, Q bar. So always flip-flop has two inputs and two outputs. A flip-flop or a latch must have two inputs and two outputs. So definitely two outputs are available but when you go for the D flip-flop or T flip-flop internally they may have two but out externally you will be having one terminal either D, flip, D input or T input. Okay, why I am saying internally means when we go inside D again consisting of SR latch and D again consists of JK latch. Okay, so outer side we can see only one terminal that may be either T or D. So now coming to the SR NOR based SR latch. So two NOR gates. NOR gates is nothing but R with a bubble. R gate with a bubble okay this is the not based sr latch here the input the second input for the first gate is the output of second gate and similarly second input of second gate is the output of first gate okay they are cross connected together they are cross connected together. So it is Q bar and this is Q. This is S and this is R. Or you can take R here. Listen carefully. You can take R in the first gate and S here. R S. Then it will be Q Q bar. Okay. If you don't want to change the output terms Q Q bar. Then you have to change the inputs. Otherwise if you want to change the inputs then output will be in the normal way. Okay, definitely S is related with S directly connected to output Q bar and R connected to output Q. Okay, if you change this order, definitely you will get mistake in the calculation part, output part. 
okay so this is nor based srlh and we know very well so s r q q bar q q bar so we are going to provide a digital inputs 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so when these two zeros are available at the inputs of these two okay first initially we should assume q is equal to 0 then q is equal to 0 and q r equal to 1 so when you apply those inputs to this nor gate then output will be the same previous state previous state q equal to 0 and q bar equal to one so we can call this state as holding state or previous state previous state and when s is equal to 0 and r equal to 1 here what is happening reset is happening reset is enabled so reset reset to 0 reset to 0 then output is equal to 0 and q is equal to 0 q bar equal to 1 this is what reset reset operation is performed here and s is equal to 1 r equal to 0 s equal to 1 r equal to 0 means which is enabled set is enabled so set operation is performed so output is equal to 1 and q bar equal to 0 this is nothing but set operation is performed here and when one both s and r set and reset are ones we know very well this is the failed situation in the sr flip flop or latch then there is no output that means the output is either both zeros or both may be ones so this state is nothing but invalid state this state is nothing but invalid state or indeterminate state because of having both the states either ones or zeros okay hope you understand what is the sr latch output uh, truth table now we will see the uh, MOS logic circuitry, transistor level diagram, transistor level diagram for SR latch. So we know two PMOS transistors. We will take this side. Two PMOS transistors we need and two NMOS transistors NMOS transistors must be connected in parallel because it is the A plus B whole bar nor gate. Okay, this is so we will take this side for better connections Okay, so the inputs for these two transistors is common and the input for these two transistors is common. Okay, this is yes. This is yes. And here it is VDD. So here this input and this PMOS transistor input, these two are common and we are giving this input to reset pin R. And this transistor, this transistor is having common input. Now this input is the output of this circuit, second circuit okay this may be treated as q because r and q are connected together i told you already r and q are connected together s and q bar are opposite to each other that means both belongs to one particular not gate so then what is the output produced by this one it is q bar s is directly having q bar so this gate output is the input for the second gate 
hope you understand how we did here how did we draw here okay so this is the transistor level diagram so what happens we know very well when input if v input is equal to 0 then what happens simply n mos transistor comes into off state and p mos transistor is on and when input is equal to 1 n mos transistor is on and p mos transistor is off so with this simple logic we can easily obtain the output we can easily obtain the output so whatever we have performed in that same previous truth table we will also get the same truth table here also in the transistor level diagram okay one thing we have to apply zeros and ones to the pmos and mos transistor we need to check whether it is on and off and thereby we will get q and q bar okay suppose if you are asked to explain about the transient analysis of the cmos as we have done in the previous cases how we did we how did we do in the previous case like uh, every transistor is having some capacitance at the output capacitance at the output so the capacitance may be connected between source and drain and gate to gate to drain so like that all the capacitors are connected in a cumulative way and we will show a final capacitance at the output final capacitance at the output then we have to take a capacitance here and one more capacitance in the opposite side here this capacitance is a lumped capacitance this capacitance is the lumped capacitance which is consisting of all the types of available capacitors inside the logic circuit okay so but the lumped capacitance is available at the both the output ends generally we will show only one capacitance for neither NAND gate or NOT gate but as we are having two gates here two NOT gates two lumped capacitors are available okay so uh, by considering this lumped capacitance then we can calculate what is the rising time and falling time at the output by multiplying the resistance offered by the transistors internal transistors okay that is that is the way we can calculate the transient analysis okay thank you